Good afternoon again, uh, United TV here. Uh, this is our second session for today. Uh, the reason we are separating these sessions uh, when we go into the technical um, uh, details of our workflow um, and then when we discuss uh, US politics, global events and economic issues, elections, uh, from our point, uh, we feel like it's a better format to separate them so then uh, we are not actually trying to impose any idea or anything. So this is our free time. So until 3 p.m., Dr. Rida should be here in 21 minutes. So Sean is uh, here with us. We are back with um, our live events. As I was saying earlier, I was in Turkey um, and I did my uh, thing out so that we are okay there so we don't need to go back. <laughs> but um, a lot happening in the U.S. Uh, now, we can actually, Sean, if we can start with uh, our uh, future guest, uh, confirmed months, and then potential ones before the election, so then, then we'll take. Yeah, definitely. Um, so just as a recap, uh, those who have been following, we do have our guests joined who are running for various positions in the state of Delaware. So uh, confirmed for the 18th already is uh, current Senator Sarah McBride, uh, was running for U.S. Congress, so she'll be joining us again on this uh, the 18th of October this month, a uh, couple weeks out. Uh, we also are working to get um, both Senator Coons and Harper uh, potentially joining. I know uh, they have not been on the show previously uh, for other campaign-related sessions, but in regards to those who are running for position, um, who we had already, we will have uh, Kyle Evans-Gay, uh, running for lieutenant governor, as I mentioned, Sarah McBride, and then we're hoping to get Lisa Blunt Rochester as well. Um, and then potentially John Carney, if we know he's running for mayor uh, of Washington. So a few different ones we are still in communication with. Um, as you know, it's already first week of October now. Um, election is about a month away in November. So it is definitely crunch time. Um, I think it's amazing that it's already October. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's just fine. It's well, it is. It is. Um... It's in a way that uh, time flies. So uh, we knew that we we're going to be at this point, uh, and I'm sure by the time elections is over, it's going to be uh, already, you know, uh, end of the year. So the um, uh, before we go into the details, one of the things that we discussed at the provider meeting last night was the um, the House Bill uh, 140, and you know, uh, you know. The dementia and Alzheimer doesn't have to be at the. It doesn't have to be age related. So uh, our uh, have the uh, new generation diseases. We forget stuff. So we do stuff and we forget. I mean, I'm not talking about you and I, but I'm talking about the society itself. So we did a session with uh, our uh, representative Paul yeah. uh, Bombay yeah. last uh, last April 2023. And that issue uh, probably that. did come up, and then we did discuss, which I gave my opinion to him uh, at that time, and because I, I, mean, I may have my own uh, views uh, from the upbringings, from the other ways that we, you know, practice our lives, um, but that was uh, vetoed by the governor, John Carney. Yeah. The interesting thing is the Byron, perhaps the next governor uh, is actually supporting the bill. So, so then and they're both, both Democrats, but then uh, immediately it was vetoed that uh, Matt Meyer said that he's actually supporting it. So, uh, so whatever is happening this year probably is going to change next year. Um, but it's it's nice to see the progress for things that we cover. Uh, and then we can see it in a... Um, uh, in a short amount of time. So uh, now, uh, BRICS is, again, I, I feel like we kind of own BRICS uh, just like the you know, global currencies because we brought these up before no one else was talking yeah. about it. Uh, just take a claim out there. Right. Years so, in advance. Now, and everything that we are, we have discussed, potential things that was going to happen is happening. Uh, and it's getting actually, uh, it's getting a lot of momentum. Um, 
And, you know, one interesting thing that I was actually reading the other day is uh, this may even have a big structural change impact on the United Nations um, uh, organization structure uh, because, because of the way that UN is uh, structured, where there's the uh, Security Council and then other than those five countries, right, no you don't have a voice. Like they had, yeah, right, so, relevance. And then there's always one opposite in that five. So right, not be a any good important decision can be easily be told by one of them and uh, it always happens. Yeah. So either so. China or Russia or US, um, they are always on the you know, opposite side. It's, it's not the best, most efficient structure. Yeah, it's difficult. To get and, it's, it, and then we have seen the failures of this recently in Tigray and Ethiopia. And it's still actually there are a lot of um, after uh, fact uh, impact that is still happening. UN was useless. Uh, past time, we see it, Ukraine, we see it. So it's not relevant. But then BRICS actually is going to make this even maybe faster uh, for UN to become less relevant. So yeah. uh, just like the same thing, when either you have to use the power responsibly, so then, then there's no other need, or you have to be fair, you have to be efficient, and you're not becoming a punitive uh, organization or punitive element, uh, which... Uh, that's what we have today, uh, and uh, BRICS now is uh, like the one uh, latest one is Thailand. Actually, they approved uh, their cabinet approved for them to um, application apply, uh, and then uh, South Africa actually first time they borrowed money from the BRICS bank. Okay. Uh, so they huge loan, huge loan. And and also uh, Turkey. That's uh, I think we maybe discussed that, or maybe it was in between it these trips. So Turkey is uh, also considering to become a member. And and what we're going to see is I think uh, in the next twelve months, what brings today is going to be much different than what it is. And this means the life can be a little bit more difficult for us here in the United States. So now, just me, just thought of this. Is there any advantage or disadvantage if a, com a country says, you know, I wanted to join six months ago, and does that get them any better standing with the BRICS? Or is it, hey, I can join last minute and have the exact same perks as if I was well, on you, board? You, so that's a good point. You have to look at it from both, uh, both perspectives. So the, from the BRICS point, they want more people, I mean, more countries. Yeah, so because the they are more relevant if there are more countries uh, as part of them. Sure. The um, the uh, countries do they have to rush? Well, I think they have to have their own timing. So, uh, but what it is is that if you are there early on, just like with the United Nations, there are the Security Council with five countries, they may end up turning that into something similar. So now, instead of having a more efficient alternative, we may have a duplicate yeah, alternative, yeah. So that, but just like on the other side. Right, because they could deny, like you're saying, these are only applications, like if they all know you're not based on, I'm not sure what the credentials of the application are to get in. Uh, it's, the, it's the uh, economic. That's it. That's but you have to have, uh, you have to do enough trade, I guess, right? Okay. So you have to do enough uh, exchange. So uh, not that they, I mean, having Turkey probably would be huge, but the problem with Turkey, uh, becoming a member is Turkey's relationship with NATO. Uh, so it, it, in some so, cases, yeah. we have this problem there in uh, Turkey as like we are in the middle. So it, are we part of you know NATO or are we part of uh, the other side? Yeah. So sometimes you can double dip. And I know. Uh, I think I think, uh, yeah, I mean, I know they are playing uh, their game very fairly. But if I'm looking at it from United States standpoint, I'm like, hey, choose your side, right? Because if you're not powerful enough to be on your own, you have to be on one side. Uh -huh. You can't be on both sides. But you don't want either side to then think you're with the other. Neither will help you. Uh, China can be on their own without being on any side. Yes, there are huge. Yeah. But when you are like kind of middle, like in the middle, so it's not gonna. Have so then, uh, because you have to be relevant, so, so right. that, uh, you know, I can give you so many examples outside of bridges that 
works in the setting of similar way. But if we have a hospital system coming to us for RCM, uh, well, we may have a little bit better rate uh, what we charge them, right? Just because of the size of the, uh, uh, and then they may request certain things that we don't want to do for everyone. Yeah, and then, then if they're relevant, we'll do it. So, uh, yeah. but if it's just like, uh, then, uh, uh, well, I shouldn't say this so then people sometimes misunderstand. But if it's a smaller side of the business, you may not need to change your way, your standards. Right, their so impact is not as... If it's a huge organization becoming a client, then yeah, you're going to buy sure, it. Okay. something right. to make it a copy. Yeah, right. so... So, um, but that's... Uh, the bridge is it's, it's huge. I mean, that's... Uh, like, I'm, I was... Um, there are some conversations I saved from uh, 18 months ago. Just so that I would tell them, hey, remember how dumb you were? Uh, I have those. Yeah. So, because people didn't think it was going to be at this point. I'm not happy about it necessarily because I live here. This is my home. But, but it is happening. And the prediction is important. Otherwise, you know, uh, if you are not able to predict properly and see what's coming, then we can uh, prepare for that. So, that's the thing, too, is you have to be prepared because when it does get to that threshold level, you don't want to say, all right, now I'll take it seriously. You want to, right. you know, better safe than sorry. So now um, the VP debate. Um, now, well, there's something about this J.D. Lance guy that I don't like, and I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know if because his age, like he's, he's much younger than I am, although it doesn't look like he's... But he is young. Is he 38 or 30? Definitely, he's 30. Um, yeah, so he's late 30. So, but there's something that, I, like, although, like, the other guy, of course, uh, has his own problems, but um, okay. where are you on that? Uh, uh, put you on the spot. Uh, <laughs> personally, with this specific debate, I did not watch the debate that night. Uh, guilty, I was watching the playoff uh, baseball. But um, I think... If you look at where they're coming from, though, I know Tim Walls uh, from Minnesota and what was happening there just as a state. Some of the issues maybe that were relevant to the state that made global, uh, or at least national news, probably global too, um, during some of these protests and certain other things that were happening. I think just looking at it from a, if it happens in your state, would it then be able to happen in the entire country if you're, if that's that same, you know, governing strategy that you have that was applied to your state and what you were supporting there on the state level will that then be amplified to a national one. Um, the same thing we said for Vance too, on, you know, what he supports and goes against at his state level, you're expecting those types of policies and approaches to then be put into place on the national level. So um, I think there's obviously pros and cons of each. I know one of the things that was mentioned and kind of agreed upon Anyone who watched it, again, I didn't watch it, but just the highlights was how calm they were during the debate. It wasn't like uh, trying to cut each other off or like raising their voices, pointing fingers. It was more civilized, I guess you could say, of the discussion. Uh, they have a huge age, age difference, right? So he's, he's almost, uh, he can be his father. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, Walt right. does look older. Yeah. Um, and then I just think another thing to point out, though, is that obviously as a VP, though, there's only, you have certain limitations of what you're able to do, though. So you are, again, under that guidance of the president. So you're, you know, on the same team, but it's not like, hey, this VP wants to do this, even though the president wants to do that, well, the VP can just decide we're going to do this instead. So, again, there are limitations to be taken into consideration on, on maybe is this not as, I mean, they should have, VP debates, but I think people maybe should put a little bit more importance on the actual presidential candidates and what they're debating. Mm -hmm. uh, but now, yeah. did you watch the Hillbilly Elegy or did you see that movie? The Hill that Hillbilly Elegy, that's his JD Vance's, that's the book that's adapted by from his book. Uh, so um, after that, I wasn't able to finish it. But I got down to about 60%. It's just I'm like, it's way too heavy. So, um, uh, I mean, again, like no one from the Republican side is going to go to the Democrat, or from the Democrat side is going to go to the Republican. This is convincing their own people, like who's putting the best game yeah. out there. So, uh, like, look what happened to Kamala. Like, she was from a dumb dumb to hey, like she looks good now. 
just because they can actually just change things and then put things up the way that we want to see. So whoever has the most money that they're able to raise, we have seen that at the local level as well. So, um, I, I mean, you know, if I have to predict uh, uh, Kamala may win this, so, um, but on is the record, my, well, is it my choice or not? That's not, I'm not discussing that. I'm just saying that the way it goes, I think, uh, what Hillary Clinton was able to do, they're going to try to do that with Kamal. So, uh, is she significant or, or relevant? No, I don't know. I mean, she's not, but uh, she will be probably the first female president. Um, now, uh, yeah, I think twenty-five dollars if that's what you are looking for. So, um, <laughs> document. So, um, well, it's on the record, so that we can just change our mind, right? So there is um, there was something that I was just going to tell you about this. Uh, uh, the uh, the surveys that we have done, the polls that we did on Twitter, they like, um, just like on the primary uh, in twenty twenty. Uh, she was the least favorite. Uh, she, she had ten percent, not from our poll, but poll from the. Uh, I'm talking yeah. about from the uh, actual, uh, actual national stuff. So, and then now here she she became the vice president, and now she's the uh, presidential candidate. So, uh, but then you know, maybe thanks the Twitter is more now the Republican audience than it was before with Elon Musk, because uh, when you look at those polls, they, they, what, uh, it was 75% down Trump. For, I mean, at that time, it was, it was with Biden. Maybe we should repeat that. Uh, they did more. Uh, they did more. Yeah, I can actually probably post that on my account this week or next. It's, it's like how it changes. It's so interesting. So um, now, uh, We'll have our, uh, the state is going to have some historical um, uh, time coming for us with Sarah McBride and with Lisa Rochester. So uh, we'll have, I mean, we'll be okay here uh, with the people that we work with, we support, um, with one exception that we have, but it's okay. We have five others that uh, they are, uh, they're in the UK, so I don't think that they have any issues. Now, um, it is 2.56, so what else do we have in the next three minutes? Uh, we do have a couple other topics, but I'll maybe just for the interest of time as opposed to diving in. Uh, there was the economy and a little bit on global affairs, but uh, I'm not sure if you want to... Is the economy, uh, are we like more positive or... Like, so, there did, is... Did you see the letter that uh, that Matt gets? Uh, he, um, uh, let me see the, the Florida guy, right? The member of Congress, uh, some Matt uh, Gates, the guy um, with the hurricane issue with the uh, available funds, and then now uh, say that hey, we don't have money. I'm like, which country? We don't uh, have yeah, money, but then it's kind of embarrassing. Yeah, it was being sent to you know, Europe, Ukraine um, mm -hmm. for that conflict, and then you have now it's also the Carolinas got hit pretty hard too. Uh, Right, the West part or like Asheville or gone. Um, I think, I mean, I always said like the index is up, they're saying it could be a stagflation as opposed to oh, inflation is down. But when they say inflation is down, it's just they it only increased to less percent than it did the year before. But if you look at the start, so the base is not the base is no longer 2010, base is yeah. 2021. Yeah. So after we have all that. Now, now from saying, 2021, it's better. It was like um, uh, the correct. the uh, uh, national debt rate is uh, the uh, the total number is almost 35 trillion. When we start doing these, it was in the 20s. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, all the indicators is there. Brakes is part of the reason that we were discussing this. So uh, you know, we know that these are good. I mean, the election is important. not going to help. I think we're going to have some. Uh, economic uh, difficulties coming on our way. What's happening in the Middle East is not promising. So we didn't just because we don't have enough time. We'll probably cover that next week. But uh, there are so many things that are happening. And another thing that I was thinking this morning uh, that uh, the global conflict uh, tracker uh, uh, that we used to have, so that those times we have these problems. Right. Now it's everywhere is burning. 
so hopefully things are going to get better. I know that Prerna probably is waiting for us now. So uh, we'll be back with our Mary Azwin Friday in less than two minutes. And uh, Chan, thank you for joining. I know you were at a training at the client side today, but your commitment <laughs> anyway, yeah, you came probably. back to Wilmington for this. So uh, we'll be back next week and we'll be back with the Mary Friday. Thank you.